Hi, this is Austin. We're going to be doing a thin brick project. We're going to be using old mill bricks system. It's called brick web and they come in both a half bond, which is your classic brick, as well as a herringbone pattern. So we're excited to get started. We just got done installing our cement board. The one neat thing about the brick web, it has the mesh backing behind it. A normal thin brick install, you would have to go and treat all of the seams where with this brick web system, you don't have to. With this, we're gonna be installing our first section. We need to cut these sides so it'll fit square in here. You're gonna start in your top right corner with this sheet, so it has two sides with the mesh sticking out and the two sides that don't. Two sides that don't are gonna be the ones that go in and butt against the wall. These ones will actually have the next sheet that follows next to it or behind it and will overlap it. So that's what's creating your continuous fiberglass mesh and uh, will make it a strong system so it doesn't get cracks in it. Okay, so what you do is you grab your square. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna line this up you're gonna line up the outside, so this side right here, and line up this corner and this corner. Line up those for that side of the cuts, and then this top section, you're gonna line up this outside corner and then this inside. Just with the bottom those and make those straight. And then what you do is you go ahead and mark that. that's where our cuts are going to be on the outside edge and then that top. Now we'll be able to fit right into this corner. This brick web system is honestly the fastest and easiest system out there for laying this thin brick, especially in this herringbone pattern. The cool thing is I just got done with my cuts. It took me two cuts to do this whole thing and normally I would have had to go and measure every single brick, cut them all individually, cut out these corners and lay out my pattern. And that would have taken forever. And with this, I did two cuts and slides right in, it's all lined up, it's all perfect already. Now. But next one, I'm already gonna take this sheet out of the box, pull up that paper, and I'll go do that same. This will just overlay, well, I'll set it back once so you can see, but that will overlay right there. Um, I just need to get this same cut across that top with my square, so I can show that right now. That lines up with this top corner and this, just like we did before my pencil, I'm gonna mark that line. I'll just screw this up a little bit. Okay, so I'll go ahead and cut that and then that will slide right in there and overlap. And then I'll just keep continuing doing that and then continue with the bottoms. One tip, using a square, but when I'm making this cut, I keep this lined up with the rest of the brick as well, so it keeps everything square. For these inside cuts, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your outside corner you're gonna take your measurement. So right here I have five and three quarters. So I have five and three quarters on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'll pull this out and I'll get my next full sheet. And I'll line it up where I have my, my grout joints lined up where I want them. And then I'll get that same measurement from this inside corner that I had, five and three quarters. Line this square up right there. Get that same five and three quarters. Move that square over a little bit. Okay. Yep. 
There we go. So that's straight, and what I'll go ahead and do is mark my line right along here. Okay, so I'll cut that, and then I'll do the same thing I've been doing with that top cut. And then this will be my piece right there that I'll slide into that corner. So we just got done with majority of our cuts, as well as we laid a lot of it out. That is one nice thing with this product is that you're able to visualize it, lay it out easily before we actually have to adhere it. We just got done prepping the thin brick. We cleaned it and then we applied a grout release and let that dry. Now we're going to be installing the grout. I'm using a float and sponge method, so we'll float that on, clean it off with a sponge, so that ends up creating a flat surface at the end. Now that the grout is fully cured, we're going to be adding a penetrating sealer. 